Well, my name is Delight, Delight Jansi. Originally from Ghana, born and partially raised here, there before, um, before we came to the United States. Uh, <laughs> recent, recently graduated uh, from University of Maryland College Park. After graduating, I started my own small um, African print uh, business. And I realized back home here in the United States, like, we don't have access to like our own African prints. I believe I hold many perspectives because one, I'm black, and two, I'm not just like African American, I'm African. And I'm a woman as well, so it's like so many different um, perspectives. And also the things that, uh, the, the, the designs I have is, is also different from the regular, you know, um, designs that are in the fashion industry. So no matter where I go, I'm always going to be seen differently. You know, it kind of just came about uh, when I came up with the name. I came out with it back in like 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it kind of just took off from there. But I'm all about uh, being different. Uh, that, that's really what my brand is being about. Uh, growing up as a kid, I, I never wanted to be like uh, somebody else. If somebody, was, if somebody was doing something over there, everybody was into that. I was like the far kid all the way doing something totally different. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't like it when other people have my stuff. So yeah. that's how I kind of do my, <laughs> kind of do my, uh, my company and all that, you know? Yeah. yeah, now I'm a football player. I grew up football, football, football. <laughs> like mm -hmm. if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I can't really draw. Like I can only draw the stuff that I do, but if, if you guys have to draw like, uh, I don't know, like anything, I, I can't draw it. Trust me, I took it to art school and everything. I have my niche, but I just mastered it over time, you know? Mm -hmm. So my whole life, I was a football player. I didn't stop playing football until um, 2016. Uh, long story short, I got in contact with Nike for my designs and I asked him if I needed school and he said no. So uh, yeah, kind of stepped <laughs> in 2017. And then uh, yeah, kind of uh, got New York Fashion Week in 2017, uh, which was a little too fast. It was it was fast, but uh, <laughs> yeah, not. Nah, so yeah, I just picked it up in 2016. So, but throughout my whole life as a kid, um, I was doing football. Uh, Recently, I just started getting back into fashion and I, I don't know, I guess because of the pandemic, I've been home full time. So I've just had nothing else to do. And I've just said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And this time when I do it, I'm just not going to give up. I'm just going to go full force into chasing after my dreams. I wanted my brand to be unique and to stand out. And so I create um, uh, whimsical fairy tale inspired pieces, but I also do repurpose fashion. And I take old wedding dresses, old clothes, and I redesign them into, I give them a new life. <laughs> and I want women to embrace their inner child. And it's okay. Like if you want to dress over the top and you're going to the grocery store, that is perfectly fine. When we were coming up with Generation Typo, I was stuck at home in the middle of a pandemic trying to like stay sane, right? And I have this idea in my head based on just my actual experience, right? Like I was always the youngest one in the work group that I was in, no matter what, right? And it was by a good amount. It was like 10 to 15 years all the time. So I'd always be, you know, in these meetings where they're just like, oh, well, you know, the younger generation is not going to understand this because of this, or they're not going to get it because of this. And I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> like, I'm in the room. The whole point of what I'm trying to get across is that if we're talking about these things and listening to each other, we can actually learn a lot. There's a lot of people that think we shouldn't be doing what we're doing based on the way that we look or based on the way that we talk or the age group that we're in. So you get to take that power back and literally become a typo as you put every piece on and just have that empowerment back.